You'll shoot your eye out. channel if you're new here welcome so today I'm going to be showing you how you can achieve this twisted Ralph inspired makeup look from a Christmas story this is part of my 12 days of SFX miss and if you're new and you don't know what that is for 12 days in the month of December I'm uploading a new Christmas themed inspired makeup tutorial with this one being inspired by a Christmas story Ralph the main character really wants a gun as a Christmas present and they keep telling him you'll shoot your eye out he also wears this iconic pink rabbit costume in the movie at one point as well so I decided to take inspiration from both of those scenes and create this. So with that being said, if you guys are interested in seeing how you can achieve this Ralph missing eye makeup look, then just keep watching. Hey spoops, so to get started I'm going to be going ahead and popping in my blue contact lenses before going into my Fenty Skin sunscreen and applying this all over my face to help moisturize it and then going into my Buckle Bunny Beauty Sheer Perfection Primer and applying this over my face as well. I'm then going to be taking my Becca Cosmetics under eye highlight and I'm going to be applying this under my eyes to help brighten them before going into my Milani Supercharged Concealer in the color 120 Peach to help brighten and alleviate some of the dark circles. So to cover up the eye, I'm actually going to be using some of this packaging plastic. This is the kind that like are giant rectangular bubbles. I'm actually going to be cutting out a little strip of this plastic because it is incredibly thin and I feel like it's going to be really easy to blend the edges of this. So I'm just going to be taking some liquid latex and applying this surrounding my eye. And then once again, laying the plastic down and sealing the edges with some more liquid latex. I'm then going to be taking my MAC strobe cream and applying this to my cheekbone to help brighten and illuminate it a little bit more before going into taking some baby powder and going ahead and setting the edges of that plastic before taking some liquid latex, laying some of that on to the center of the plastic and then taking a cotton ball, spreading it out and laying that on top as well. And then you want to take some more liquid latex to blend the edges into your skin along with completely covering the cotton ball with some latex and using your spatula to try and create some jagged edges throughout the center of the prosthetic piece just to make it look like you actually have a gouged out eye. I'm then going to be going ahead and feeling to make sure that the prosthetic is dry before setting that with some more baby powder and going into our Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation in the color 220N and applying this all over my face and the prosthetic with my It Cosmetics Airbrush Blurring Foundation Brush. I'm then going to be taking my Buckle Bunny Beauty Cream to Powder Foundation in the color Mocha and applying this to the areas that I want to contour. So this is going to be my cheekbones and my jawline and I just want to make sure to blend that out as best as I can before going into highlighting my face with my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the color Light Peach. So I'm going to be applying this under my eye to end to my forehead before once again making sure to blend this out and setting this with my Airspun Translucent Powder. Continuing with contour, I'm going to be taking my KVD Beauty Shade and Light Contour Palette, taking this contour shade, and I'm going to be using this to help deepen the contour from the cream contour, and it's also going to help set it as well, along with taking this banana color from the palette and using this to highlight my face. I'm then going to be taking my ColourPop Disney Court of Miracles blush and applying this to the apples of my cheeks and blending it up my cheekbones before going into my Revlon Prismatic Highlighter and applying this to my cheekbones as well. I'm then going to be taking my Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Primer and applying this to my eyelid before going into my ColourPop It's a Princess Thing palette taking Juju and on a fluffy brush I'm going to be applying this into my crease and bringing that down to my lower lash line before taking Grumpy and doing the same thing by applying that onto my crease and blending that down to the lower lash line and then I'm going to be going into Prince Charming to highlight my brow bone and the inner corner of my eye. I'm then going to be taking Fairy Godmother and I'm going to be applying this on the inner corner of my eye and blending that into the center of my eyelid. And I'm going to be taking my KVD Beauty Tattoo Eyeliner in Mad Max Brown and creating a simple wing and bringing that down to my lower lash line too. Next I'm going to be prepping my eyelashes by curling them before taking my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and sweeping that through my upper and lower eyelashes. And then for my lips I'm going to be taking my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Curve 2 before going into my ColourPop Animal Crossing Lip Crayon in Peach Surprise and topping all of this off with my ColourPop Disney Designer Lip Gloss in Bobbity. 
For my eyelash, I'm going to be taking my Kiss number 11 and apply that right onto my lash line before we move all over to the gouged out eye once again, where I'm going to be taking my Skin Illustrator Flesh Alcohol Activated Palette. Taking these two brown tones, I'm going to be using some 99% alcohol with a chip brush. I'm going to be stippling that on to my face using my thumb, and this is really going to help create some splatter effects and make it look more like real skin. I'm then going to be taking Rose Adjuster from the palette and doing the same thing. This is going to help create that irritation surrounding our eyes, and this is going to help make the surrounding areas of the injury look more realistic before taking our Made You Look Body Paint in ink and creating a dark spot in the center of the prosthetic where this is going to look the darkest and like where the eye has been shot out. I'm then going to be taking my Made You Look Body Paint in Cherry and I'm going to be applying this in the surrounding areas. This is just going to be creating a base tone of red before we go in with our Ben Nye Stage Blood and we're just going to be stippling this all over the eye area using a torn apart sponge to kind of help create a little texture and then we're also going to be splattering some of that blood onto our face as well to help create the splatter marks in the surrounding area before we pull the rest of our costume together. And that is my completed Ralph inspired makeup look from A Christmas Story. I really hope you guys enjoyed this injury makeup. It was a lot of fun to do. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you can see more of my videos. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.